Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be deep cleaning my fridge and also sharing my grocery haul. So last night I washed everything. It was actually turned like this to dry. I just turned it over so I could see it. And um, I just used some Dawn and like a cap full of bleach just to kind of clean everything and sanitize everything down. These are actually the compartments that was on the door. And these compartment here goes in the bottom drawer i'm going to show this to you guys real quickly because if you've been here long enough i'm opening up the dishwasher because i put some of the compartments in here to wash yesterday um if you guys remember this i still have it um i haven't been able to locate it i'm sorry these little compartments go in here just like that i will say one of the kids got a hold of it and now I'm missing one. But what I would normally do is have like the grapes, the strawberries or whatever in here. This was really great. I'm happy the minute that I saw it, I picked it up because I haven't seen it since. Okay, so these right here are the lids and they go on top like so on each one. Last night, I just took the opportunity to clean everything. So all the egg. Someone told me that these things get like foggy and stuff when you wash them. I think it really depends. I did spend a little more on it. Um, mine's haven't had this issue. And I've washed it several times. So I guess it really depends on what you buy. I don't know. What I'm going to do now is start taking everything out the dishwasher. So that way I can put it back into the fridge. I don't have my tripod so I do apologize. But I'm going to show you guys the fridge before and after. As I previously stated, I took all the doors off last night. I took everything out the fridge. Um, this one here is new which is the baking soda. And you guys can see the fridge now. Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing. Disposable as chewing gum. I want you guys to see this really quickly. I have the water running so I can have um, the liquid to clean the fridge. But I put the paper towel down and that just keeps this from getting really dirty. It really helps out because normally I'd have like a large spill down here. So that's just a little tip. It may not work for you, but I'm just sharing. Deal breakers where I come from. My family don't suffer. Fools glad they know. Do we kiss and lie in bed? So now that I have all of the drawers pulled out, what I'm doing is washing everything. I have some hot water with just a little bit of bleach in the water and I'm adding in Dawn here and there just a couple of drops. That just ensures that everything is going to be nice and clean and ready for the new grocery to go back into the fridge. If you're wondering, I do this once a month, a deep clean, and then maybe once a week I'll just do a quick wipe down and I'll change out the paper towel that I just showed you guys in the fridge. So I'm going to be using these, which is again the glass and also the all-purpose to clean inside the fridge. I do like the way it smells and I don't want any like harsh stuff. I do use my bleach also. But still 
right you guys here is my fridge from the last time i think i was on video cleaning it i found a different um way of cleaning as you can see i took everything out i actually found that by accident a friend of mine um she had her refrigerator replaced and i saw them putting all the glass and everything I'm like hold up everything can actually come out so this time you didn't see me doing the knife and all that stuff just because there really was no need everything came out so i'm going to put everything back into its proper place and then i'm going to show you guys that and then you guys are going to see the grocery go in here is my fridge you guys all clean everything is back in i did switch the placement of these two guys right here so i can have my juices there's where I always put it, but this is everything nice and clean. Absolutely love it. Looks really good. And then here goes the door. Everything is all nice and clean there too. Looks like a brand new fridge. We have had this fridge for about three years. If you guys are wondering what it is, only thing I can tell you is it is a Kenmore. That's about it. I don't even know if they still make this refrigerator. So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back in. All right, you guys. Here is my refrigerator. All cleaned and organized to the best of my ability. <laughs> you guys already know I've said it before. I'm not an organization person. I just like things to be neat and organized. So I did wash all of um, the fruits. And I guess this is a vegetable. It's a pepper. I guess it can be both or something like that. I don't know. I think a tomato is whatever. You guys get my drift. I'm going to show you the products that I use to clean it. I really do my best not to purchase the pre-cut of like the pineapples the watermelon stuff like that just because they tend to go bad a lot faster but i know babe is going to be home with the kids alone so i figured let me just do that so if they get hungry they'll have something really quick but if i was going to be home i would not buy that i'd probably get one that i have to cut myself because they last a little bit longer so that's that and then i have lunch meat to make the salads and then spinach which i pretty much use all the time without I'm making eggs if i do salmon whatever the case may be i have my kale salad my eggs and also um the naked i know there was some sort of recall something going on with the nakeds whatever the case may be i looked it up i'm still buying naked i personally like to drink it if you don't like it just don't buy it and then I have orange juice just because the pollen is season, allergies and all that stuff. It's always just good to have some orange. And then, of course, baking soda. I got baking soda. <laughs> so I have the Army Hammond baking soda on the door. I have it hung up here. And then I also have it here. Because I have the pantry now, I try to overfill everything. I'm going to show you guys the pantry so you can see where I have more salad dressings. I have more condiments. I have all of my seasoning things. So I keep things as organized as possible in this space moving on to the freezer oh really quickly sorry i almost forgot right here i have lemons back to lemon juice um cucumbers the gogurt carrots strawberries which are so yummy oh you guys the strawberries look so good on the door down here i have the kids cough medicines and then i have our fish oil and um iron pills and all that stuff in this second compartment here and then down here i have the stuff but these strawberries look real good though mm. Mm -mm -mm. you want one go ahead you want some grapes too oh yeah did you even open the fridge when you came home from school nope all right you guys my son wants to get something out the fridge to eat so i'm gonna let him do that and i'll go ahead and jump into the pantry and i'll come back to the freezer so you guys can see that in here i have the granola bar and the goldfish i'm going to be getting some more stuff but just going over some of the groceries down here i just purchased some oil and some canned stuff and then again some more salad dressing and condiments right here on this side my water kids water my water the applesauce the gatorades and then the green wise juices and of course the eight and one those i don't know what this pantry is going to be looking like once the tour is up but i can tell you right here is my snack area so i have healthy and unhealthy snacks don't comment down below about me needing to do okay so i have my um cookies i have the vanilla and also chocolate oreos 
I did it like this. If somebody wanted chocolate, it wouldn't be like so far to get it. And then I have my macadamia nuts cookie from it's white chocolate macadamia nut from Pepper's Farm. They are so good. Oh my gosh. And then I have my dried pineapples, my pumpkin seeds, mango, um, pecans, and then chips. Oh boy, chocolate chip cookie. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Pasta and cereals in here. And then some more pastas and oatmeal and stuff. I have to get some more of these containers, some more, some more. So I'm actually going to be going to Atlanta. So I'm going to get some more baskets and some more of these units here. In the freezer part, I normally don't do this. But because I'm going to be going out of town um, this month, I'm going to be going a lot of places this month. Um, I decided to go ahead and get some meat so babe can cook. That way she doesn't have so much to do. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do like um, some sort of pasta and then do some sort of chicken. Here is where I can do my blended drinks. I have some chicken breasts for the kids to have like a snack after school and then the waffles. And here I have the breakfast stuff in here, the veggies, some more veggies in here, everything frozen. That is it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.